that was super fun. <laughs> and now I gotta go throw up because I'm really dizzy. You know, it's not easy to drive a Monster Jam truck. I mean, these things are 12,000 pounds of incredible horsepower and destruction. Wouldn't it be great if there was some kind of school, like, I don't know, a university or something? Wait, there is, and I am here at it, here in Paxton, Illinois, and I'm going to learn from the 12-time world champion, Tom Mentz, and check it out. I got my own truck and everything, yay! Monster Jam University is actually in Tom Mentz's backyard, and today it is incredibly muddy. Now, if you want to be a Monster Jam driver, you first have to pass a three-day audition process, then return for four three-day training sessions, and those cover everything from learning how to operate the rear steering, working on tricks like donuts, wheelies, and jumps, and basic safety procedures. Mentz has carved out both a stadium course and a smaller arena course, and potential drivers train in the exact same trucks that they would compete in, minus all the body panels. So, normal racing applications you use the head and neck restraint when you have a crash right right we use it on every jump does that okay. make sense yep <laughs> <laughs> In addition to driving skills, potential Monster Jam drivers get training in media so they know how to give a good post-competition interview even with all the adrenaline of having jumped their truck 35 feet coursing through their veins. But even if a driver completes the training, they aren't a shoe in for the job. One season there might be four positions open, the next only two. Competition is fierce, so it pays to be the best in training. It's about us. So here you go. So that's real fast, real fast. That's a take off. Okay, so I'm about to get in this beast. Uh, we're gonna start with some ovals, which will involve using rear steering. And I have to say, I'm really nervous. Uh, I always get nervous before a race, but um, yeah, this is super nerve wracking. But the good thing is it's okay to be scared and then you just gotta push through the fear. So I'm gonna climb up in this bad boy and do some ovals and kick some ass. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. So, give me hope. Tom Lentz. You ever driven a Monster Jam truck before? I have not, but we're going to today. Today is the day. Slightly wet here. Handle up closely, buddy. It's all right. If it were easy, everyone would do it. You've waited days, you've waited months, you've waited years. We're like literally seconds away. The first thing I realized doing the ovals and the figure eights is that I have to turn a lot earlier than I think. Part of it is the mud, of course, but even with the rear steering, I really have to anticipate the turns. And I can't move my head. The racing seat comes around my head, so combined with the head and neck restraints and the five-point harness, the only things I can really move are my arms and legs. All right, so the weirdest part about this is that you, you gotta drive just by turning the wheel with your hand, right? Operating that rear steering is really tricky. You can see I'm leaving it on too long and over-rotating the truck. It's fun, but probably not what Tom has in mind. You're wild, that's for sure. 
gonna have you knock out a couple donuts now. You're gonna get out in the middle of that area. You're gonna turn that automatic center off. Turn the front all the way to the left, rear all the way up. Start applying throttle. Go down with it kind of smoothly and then just go down with it. So that thing stays in one spot. Spins like a top. You got it? Going around. Good. Get a rotate. Good. Now go down with it hard. Holy crap, I did a donut. A mud slinging, tire slaying, bad ass donut. The rear steering has got a self centering feature so that it goes back to a neutral position when I let off on the switch. Here for the donut, I want those rear tires at a maximum angle so the self centering is turned off completely. It's easy to feel when the truck gets a good rotation and then you just floor it and hang on. Although here on my first one, my foot's not quite all the way to the floor and I'm pretty sure I can do better. On my second try, I just go for it. The truck starts to rotate, so I ease onto the gas and I get going faster and faster. Everything is just a blur, just brown mud, green field, and then this blue blur of some kind. Centrifugal force is pushing me back into my seat, but the thing just keeps going faster and faster and faster, and Tom is yelling something at me in the helmet. But the truck is so loud, I can't really make it out. And suddenly, I realize that I'm up on two wheels. I spin there for what seems like an eternity before the old gal just goes over. Just won the donut contest, that's for sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. All right, cool. Hey, great job. I couldn't tell which side was up. So, gear down. You gotta do is back off the throttle a little bit. It would have settled right down, but no. Pretty cool, pretty fast. So that was really fun. I don't know how it looked for you guys, but I want to barf. Um, it's really fast. And once I started going, I was like, I, I don't know how to control this at all. Like, at all. And it, it, you feel like even though you're gonna, you lift, if you lift, I felt like if I lifted, it was gonna be even worse. But I guess that's not the case. And I knew it was going over, but then I couldn't figure out how to save it. I was like, well, which way's the dirt? Is it dirt that way? I'll turn it. I just, I couldn't figure out which way to save it. And then I went over. So that was super fun. <laughs> and now I gotta go throw up because I'm really dizzy. I am eternally grateful to the crew for cleaning off all that mud so we can move on to jumping. Now I'm no stranger to leaving terra firma in a car as I've jumped my own off-road race car hundreds of times. But it's so muddy and slick out, I have a hard time just getting the truck to square up with the jump. But finally I do and I'm rewarded with a nice little flit off of a jump with a nice soft landing piece of cake. I need something bigger. And when Tom tells me to square up with the steeper backside of the jump, I am all for it. What do you think so far? Is it, uh, that landing got your attention, didn't you? It's, it's a pretty good impact. Uh, yeah, it gets my attention. But like I said, I've flown in a car a lot of times. It's just that the suspension on my car is, well, not quite as robust as what I've got here in my monster truck. Still, it feels like a car crash, but my safety equipment keeps me from moving around and my head stays in line with my neck, which is always a good thing. By the end of the day, I'm confidently ripping around the court and drifting the 12,000 pound truck like a boss and staying on the gas no matter what. I wanna stay in, jump it a bit more and try to finesse my shifting skills, but alas, my monster truck time has come to an end.
You know, I started my day at Monster Jam University thinking that maybe I could actually be a Monster Jam driver. And now I realize that that's not gonna happen unless I have a lot more practice. These trucks are so technical to drive. I mean, sure, the mud is working against me, but man, you've gotta be an athlete. All that palm stirring like this, my bicep is killing me. I really wanna thank Tom Menz. He was an awesome instructor. I can see why he is a 12-time world champion. And of course, my crew chief, Lexi, she and her team cleaned this whole thing off after my first donut uh, off course excursion, shall we say. Anyway, we had a great time. Thank you so much to Monster Jam University for showing me how to monster.